Good day, viewers. Welcome to Afri's Concept TV, your number one reliable channel where you get updated and enlightened on what is happening around you. I appreciate you for the time spent while watching and viewing our channel. So if you are new on this channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever I drop any video. Be Afran News. Namdi Kanu's lawyer sent strong message to Southeast governors. The council of Namdi Kanu, the leader of the outlawed indigenous people of Biafran, Epop, Barista Aloy, Eji Marco, says any Southeast governor who supports the proscribed of the group becomes complicit in repression. Niger News reports that Barista Eji Marco, who was one of the lawyers, that defended Kanu during his trial by the federal government led by President Momodou Buhari made this comment on the microblogging site, identifying the rules of the governors as the chief security officer of their state. The Biafra noted that the governors should not allow the Buhari's governor to tell them that their indigents have turned terrorist. The legal practitioner stated this on his known Twitter, handled on Friday. Ejimaku tweeted, Any C governor who endorses federal trial of IPOB members for terrorism, treason, allegedly committed with CE becomes complicit in repression as the CSO of the state. It does not lie with an outsider to tell you that your indigents have turned terrorists under their nose. Be wise. Quoting that the Nigerian constitution, the legal practitioner said, lying on section 214 slash 217, 218 and 305 of the constitution, Southeast leader can resist the constant deployment of the army in SE. They claim that it is a military exercise is false. It is instead an act of military occupation, geared to suppression of a rising popular dissent. He tweeted, Viewers, what is your take on this news that you just heard? My own contributions and opinion is that federal governments have rights or have every right to send security forces to any parts of the country for military exercises or any kind of operations they like. We come to think of it, why not send those soldiers to the Boko Haram side in the north to fight them? Why is it that this Buhari Fulani government is torturing the eagles in, in their own homes? What did they actually want from the Eagles? They are just looking for serious trouble again. And um, I remember the Fulani federal government that all this they are doing will force the Eagles to pick up arms and defend themselves. And they should know and understand that this time is not 1961. Keep pushing Eagles until when it will be too late for Nigerian and Fulani's government. God is watching us. So 